Kia ora, Helen Brown's here coming live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a beautiful, super fantastic, sparkling serenity Sunday. It has been a phenomenal day. So first of all, what did you do today to relax, to refresh, to rejuvenate, to recharge? What did you get to do today? I got to go to Networking Riches Day. It was amazing. We had, um, um, we finished off from yesterday and then we had um, the Breakthrough Zones. <sighs> Tell you, the Breakthrough Zones, I absolutely love. Lots of good things happen and you never know what's going to happen. First breakthrough, really good. Second breakthrough, <sighs> mind-blowing. It was amazing. It's, um, I mean, we always have really good breakthroughs, but this is like one of the best that we have had for a long time it was just light you can see light bulbs going off not just with the person in the break in the um in the breakthrough zone but you can see light bulbs going off on the other on the other people's faces throughout that breakthrough as they said oh my gosh i could do that. oh and you could see the ideas like you could see the sparks coming out of their heads as the as the ideas were running rampant through their heads it was amazing i loved it we had so much fun and uh, and we got to finish early and i thought oh great I got time to go get the mail. I looked up and I had like 30 minutes to get to the, I didn't have enough time to go get the mail. And I was like, damn it. I thought I did, but then I remembered it's Sunday and they close at three o'clock, not five o'clock. It's like, ah, uh. <laughs> by the time I finished up everything and got organized. And so, but then I was just like drained. All of a sudden my energy just went, it disappeared. I had no idea where it went. And I thought, well, it's, um, let me go lay down for half an hour, <laughs> put the timer on. And, um, and then I'll take Zephy for a walk and then we'll go to the park. And uh, so we did that. I went and we took a nap. It was a little longer than half an hour. Um, but got up and uh, we went out for our evening walk like we normally do. And then I put her in the car and we went off to the dog park and had fun getting to the dog park. <laughs> We're driving along and I thought, I'll take this road. I know the turn and everything else. And we get onto the right road that goes to the dog park and we get down part way down and all of a sudden the outside of the road is completely closed off for some sort of emergency and you can see all the red and blue lights going off and everything else and it had like police line do not cross uh, the other side of this intersection so you had the choice of going left or right so I went right with the other cars I figured we'll figure it out it's dark we're on a ticky tour I've got no idea where I'm going <laughs> but we'll figure it out and so I just followed these and all these other cars started turning off I'm like looking where they turn off and going nope I can stay on this road and eventually that road did wind back down the road that we needed to be on and we look back and there's nothing except for the red lights down at the other light and I'm like what the heck there's like nothing there so then we continue on to the dog park and we get to the dog park and again there's a set of lights at the dog park on the other side of the dog part of the of the intersection was police lines do not cross road closed emergency I'm like wow they're blocking everybody off back there when they can take that road that comes around and back out onto this road only to be stopped when they get here. <laughs> and it's like the last set of lights before the um, before the 303. And so we went off into the dog park and Zephy had so much fun. Um, I figured out based on the time, what day you go and the time of day that you go, that there's different breeds of dogs there. Like we've been there when it's been mainly German Shepherds. We've been there when it's been mainly Greyhounds and Whippets. We've been there when it was, oh, we had American Great Danes one day. They're, they're big dogs, but then, and I said, oh, is this just a, a I said to one owner, I said, oh, is this a Great, is this a great Dane pup? They go, oh, no, it's an American Great Dane. It's it's um, actually smaller than the than the real Great Dane. I was like, okay, it's not a puppy. <laughs> so we've had Great Dane days where we've been there, and Zephy's been, oh, there was this cutest picture ever, and I was just so in the moment, because when I'm at the park, I'm in the moment, I'm watching Zephy. I don't think about taking photographs or anything else. And, um, and she is nose to nose with this American Great Dane tonight because there was an American Great Dane there and it was a black and white one. The, I think they call it Harlequin. And, you know, this big dog's up here and Zephy's little nose is down here and they've got their noses together. And so it was so cute. <laughs> and this dog would, like, go chasing Zephy with his great big long loping legs and Zephy would just, like, zoom. <laughs> and this big dog would try and chase. It was, it was hilarious. Um, but tonight it was Huskies. And we've been there also with um, Rhodesian Ridgebacks um, was another one that we had. And um, Zephy, no. Good girl. It's not for you. Um, you got dinner sitting over there waiting for me. <laughs> and, um, and so it was just, you want to come up and say hi? You can. Come on. Come on up. Zephy, come. Nope, not interested. All right. You can just stay there. I'll just scratch your head then. Um, 
And so it was so cute watching her run around. But um, they had a lot of different husky breeds there tonight. And they were all over Zephy, all over her. Um, they would come up. They would roughhouse with her. They would chase her. Um, she actually got going at full speed one time. And one of the huskies caught her only because Zephy's going this way. And the husky did the intersection track. Most of, the, most of the dogs come behind her and try and catch her when she starts running. But this one pulled back, watched Zephy for a little bit, and then did an intersection track. So Zephy's going this way, and it came in on the diagonal and basically ran her over. <laughs> but Zephy <laughs> didn't phase Zephy at all. She just took off again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we had a great time at the dog park tonight. There was, there was a lot of dogs there, and it was, it was good. Um, and all under lights and everything else, so... She just had the best time there tonight. Um, she got rolled a couple of times, um, but she'll just get back up on her feet and just take off again. <laughs> like, no phase, no, it's not, not stand up, shake it off. No, she'll just get up and take off. Uh, <laughs> but she loves the dog park. So, And then, of course, when we came out, we couldn't go to the 303, which is the route we would normally take, and then because that was still closed off. And then when we went back the way we had originally come, of course, our side of the road's all completely open from the police emergency stuff. and um, But they, they still had that section of the road closed off. And I'm like, why? Why would you have this section of the road closed off when they can go around this loop, come out at the other light, and then get stopped at the you know two lights later um, from getting on the 303? Why can't you just say, you know, 303 route closed, choose a different route? Um, but no, they had no signs like that. And I'm just like, that was just really weird. Um, but anyway, so we, we drove on and then I come to the road that I need to turn on to come back to the, come back to the resort. Couldn't do it. There's all these red and blue flashing lights. I'm like, what the heck? And so in the turn, in the left-hand turn lane, um, it was closed off because there was a nose to tail. And I'm like, oh. so I just continued on and then remembered that road ran into the 303. So we'll just go that way. So we did. <laughs> And got home. So we went on this great big long adventure drive on the way home in the dark, which if you know me, I have issues driving at night um, with other lights coming towards me. So I stay in the far right hand lane so that the ones coming towards me on the left hand side, they don't affect me as much. Um, but yeah, so we stopped off, got dinner on the way home and here we are. So now I'm going to go and have dinner. But I thought I'm going to do this before I get comfortable with dinner and so I'm going to sit and watch a movie. I haven't decided which movie yet. I don't know. Gotta go figure that out. I'm gonna do it quick because if I leave it too long, I won't have time to watch a movie. But anyway, that was our adventures today. Um, we got to have a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was a really I have to tell you, if network when networking riches is on again, you have to go. That breakthrough zone today was like off the charts, off the charts. And watching people's watching the gallery view of the Zoom and watching people's faces light up and seeing sparks come out of their head. It's, it was incredible. It was incredible. So anyway, go have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your Serenity Sunday. We're going to go sit down, relax, put our feet up, have some dinner, watch a movie. Um, and we will catch you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Magic Monday. Hey, Conera. Do, 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 do.